What's going on everybody? Survival Islanders back in with another video. Don't forget to join our Discord and Roblox group. Link for those will be in the description. Uh, this video today um, took a little bit to figure out, but uh, this is how to make mobile buttons for games. Uh, the mobile button I'm going to basically show is just a very simple one of how to make something uh, appear and disappear. Still working on how to figure out how to do more advanced things since I've never worked with this before. But I'm going to show you how to make, like, if you were to implement it into a menu GUI or something, or you were trying to implement it. So if you were making, like, a simulator and you want the buttons to also be mobile, uh, really compatible, or, like, you wanted a certain action, you wanted to click it, and, like, you know, you wanted to swing a sword, but with buttons, you can do that. So let's go ahead and get into that. So first, I'm going to start with inserting a screen GUI and then I'm going to in oh, nope don't want to go there uh, I want to then insert a frame so um, if you go up here to test and you do uh, the emulation you can choose a device um, I'm going with like the Samsung really I mean other people would use the iPhone but whatever but we're going for mobile so I'm just gonna go right here I'm going to drag mine. There, I'll kind of put that like right there in the center. As you can see, the little green lines are going to line that up for me. Uh, background transparency, probably about like 0.5 there. And then I'm going to make that uh, not visible. Okay, so then I'm going to insert a local script. We're gonna make our first variable. I'm gonna call it uh, button. So that's going to be script dot parent. Wait for child. Parentheses. Quotations. Frame. Then function. I'm going to call this uh, this function on key press parentheses action name user input state and input object if user input state is equal to a num dot user input state dot begin then I'm gonna then I'm gonna have it print something into the output bar. Let me go uh, output be able to see here down at the bottom. I want it to print And the key that I'm going to have it set as is just going to be F. Now nah, I'm going to actually make it M because I said menu. So M was pressed. Okay. So right below all the ends, then we're going to have game dot context action service bind action and then parentheses key press oops I, key press special name comma on key press comma true comma the num dot key code dot m parentheses got had uh, too many parentheses there okay um, then I'm just going to copy and paste the first, the, this right here, right before bindable action, because i got to 
do that a couple more times. So for the second part, it's going to be set position. This is the um, this is to put it to wherever you want it on the screen. So we're going to go uh, parentheses quotations key press special name again. Then comma udim two dot new. Oops, not capital new. Then another set of parentheses. And then within this one, I'm going to probably go point five zero negative point five and then zero again. Okay, and then for the last one set image this is for the image of the icon that you want um in the end I'll, i'm just probably going to pick something here i had something lined up key press special name oh i don't have my quotations comma and then your id so within here, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, what do I want? I guess, guess you will work. It's more or less of just this and R B X A S S E T I D backslash backslash there so we're gonna go ahead and try it out okay here we go and as you can see the little button with my icon that I chose is there and if I click it M was pressed and then the little thing appears times two not there well that's all for this video if you got any other questions post down in the comments below comments and concerns give us a like and a sub and you'll see you all again in our next post of videos